guys, my name is Chris Powell and I am for Everlon of Tampa Bay and we do canine grass as well as several other products all made by Foreverlon. We are super excited to be a part of this project specifically for Canine Grass Park in downtown Tampa. We've done four dog parks for the city of Tampa and this one is the largest. It's just got a special dedication. It's named the John Cotfila Memorial Dog Park and John Cotfila was a police officer, he was 30 years old, and what we're standing under is the Selman Expressway, and there was a wrong way driver in 2016 that was coming down the expressway, and John literally pulled his police cruiser in front and saved two people um, from that wrong way driver, um, but he lost his life in doing that. It was really sad for the Tampa community at the time, and he had a great relationship with his dog named Dexter. And so when the city found out about that relationship that he had with his dog, they wanted to do something in his memory. And so they decided a dog park underneath the Selman Expressway would be the perfect way to remember his contribution to the city. Tampa Hillsborough Expressway Authority and the city of Tampa and several um, fundraising organizations came together to make the park possible. Canine Grass Classic was the choice based on our experience with the City of Tampa for this park as well. The Canine Grass Classic product, it's the only knitted product in the industry and so we do dog parks, we do boarding facilities, we do kennels, we'll do residential backyards as well where you've got a dog run. And so if you look, it's a unique setting, it's right underneath the expressway. So some of the complications with that is there's really no rainfall that gets on this so there's sprinklers set throughout to rinse it down on a regular basis the nice thing about having the expressway over here is it's always in the shade so it doesn't get near as hot as some of the other parks where you're out in the sun all the time and i can attest today when we're out in the sun it's brutally hot when you're in here it cools off by at least i don't know 30 degrees it feels like so these guys if you look at the park We've got some elevations here. We've got these tubes that are set on top of the hills. We had to mound up the base underneath and really compact that. Believe it or not, that tube that's on top of that weighs 3,000 pounds. We didn't want it to go anywhere. So there's a lot of compaction that went in that base and then there's a footer that goes underneath it. Um, a lot of the concrete um, pillars you see we've done in some of the other dog parks here as well. So it's kind of a signature of some of the Tampa parks. And you've got a small dog park here. You've got a large dog park right next door. Everybody in Tampa is really excited about having this dog park. And I would just say, from my standpoint, we're just really proud to be a part of a project like this. It means a lot to the Tampa community. And you can see from the turnout here, um, the police organization, the, the news organizations, the uh, city of Tampa, um, everybody's really proud of this specific park for all it means.